Greetings all you Tesla City Martians out there, you're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The show for those who miss a morning run in the park, slurping minestrone soup, sailing with the wind in their hair, singing in unison with thousands of people at a music concert, or smelling the coming air. In other words, a show for the long lost days of Earth. Starting off the show with Son of No One, a song I'm fairly certain resonates with many of us orphans of the earth out here in the stuffy depths of space. Speaking of stuffy air, please don't attempt to open portal windows to let some fresh air in. It's unbelievable that we have to mention this, but we're living in pressurized domes, people. Breathing recycled air is just the new normal. In totally unrelated news, the memorial of Baroness von Wollenschitt... And her family asks gold diggers and paparazzi to respectfully stay away from the funeral ceremony being held in the Section C cafeteria on Deck 3 at 7 p.m. dawn time. All right, on with the show. Yeah. 
little toddler pop there taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never covered its best feet. On that note, it's time for another story, a look back at life on open road, and look forward to the long road ahead. Oh, my life. The good old days. Original sources. Authenticity. Hope. Inspiration. Radiant nostalgia from Mars. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. <laughs> I'm serious. I tried to recreate that thing here on Mars. So I took a Tesla City Delivery EVA for a spin on the Planitia Plains, but it's like driving a janky VR simulation. It made me miss riding my motorcycle, my jolly even more. At 35, for 30 days in the blistering heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile trip across America on my motorbike. We set off from California, we zigzagged up and down the country, and covered 18 states all the way up to New York City where I was in the table my father's company. During the trip, the biggest surprise for me was how much of my thinking... Even the now, I just focused on staying alive at 70 miles an hour on two wheels with crazy wings buffeting me all the way. So while my mind was this constant barrage of compulsive thoughts, those thoughts were generally practical. Like, how do I get to that destination before dark? Am I drinking enough water? Am I hydrating? The bigger picture stuff of why am I doing this and what is life about anyway didn't come until later. We started the trip at the peak of California's infamous orange heat wave and we rode it for five days in temperatures you wouldn't believe. Some mornings I'd have sweat dripping from my elbows before we even set off. My eyes hurt from the sun. Sometimes I'd wake up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. And even though those closest to me actually didn't think I made it, I learned that I could physically overcome much more than I thought. So after that rite of passage, I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being in like a little brat who finally would pay for her theatre career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now, here I am with my family on Mars, among the last representatives of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high-minded idealism, life has no meaning. Because of these damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even if you manage to get outside, you're still trapped in the bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go, isolation clings to you. Unlike the open road, it's an experience of void, no wholeness. There's no dancing asphalt in the heat, and no neon lit diners, and 2 a.m. omelets with green bell peppers, and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns, greasy bacon, and black coffee. Instead, there's this barren rock, and strictly monitored oxygen levels and sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder. Just, Just like during my epic ride, we've mostly figured out the banal questions about water and food and sanitation, and now the greater questions are what are we really doing? What about the future? And what will the meaning of life be for my kids? At any rate, the point is. I miss my journey. That's me. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thank you for taking us on that ride with you, Brianna. Your story is an inspiration for all and reminds us to face our difficulties head on and to value the small things in life, even out here on Mars.
Smoke cycles, grease, wind in the hair. What better way to remember than with some psychedelic rock for the road? Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Alejandro. ¿Qué? El bebé no es suyo. Hello all you Martians out there, it's time for another round of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. To Soul's episode is an energetic tour de force of nostalgia from the good old days. Buckle up, buckle down, and enjoy.
Some upbeat news for some upbeat news. As you may well know, the board of directors have founded a club for going on exploratory return visits to Earth. A primary expedition launched several years ago and Tesla City authorities are proud to announce that the secondary expedition, a select group of our eminent board members, has arrived on Earth in the vicinity of Alphaville. The purpose of their expedition is to research, collect samples and conduct measurements of the air, water and soil to establish toxicity levels back on Earth. Of course, our intrepid Tesla City leaders will use the opportunity to squeeze in a game of golf. Nothing beats Earth's gravity and urban rubble covered in nature makes for a challenging course. So let's wish them the best of luck. Work hard, play hard, keep up the morale. We won't stop until we make Mars the best it can be. So I ran. Welcome back all you Martians out there, you're tuned to Tesla City's number one radio station for music, stories, news and views related to Earth, reminding us all that even out here on Mars, one fact remains, we still circle around the same old sun.
A friendly reminder, anyone attempting to opt out of their randomly assigned Martian duties will have their water privileges reduced and anyone paying a proxy to fill in will be excluded from all club activities for a Martian month, which is much longer than you think it is. So do your part and do your part.
I ran around Alphaville. 